What's up guys? Heading back from the Knucklehead Bass Fishing Series with my buddy Jake Tomlin. And uh, Team Wendell picked up fourth pretty good. What'd you guys pick up? <laughs> but I brought this with me, the old fish ball, and I figured I'd open up in the car, kind of get a first look. This is the second box that I got. I like the first one. I got a loadout box behind you. And so give me the first look. Jake's never seen this before. I opened it up for a hot second, so I really don't know what's in here. So let's see what's in the old box. Ooh. All right, we got the Dobbins D-Blade, looks like. Look at that juice. Dobbins. Dobbins, yeah. I didn't realize they started making lures. Half ounce. Yeah. Gary Dobbins, fish to win. So, All right. I don't know if I necessarily would have used that. The the jerk bait is what was absolutely slamming. I it. think that would have been you know, deeper to be honest. Look at that. Nice. All right, got that guy. He's throwing crap on the floor right now. Um, clean freak body wipes. Oh. Yeah, right. I think me and you both could have used I could have those. used these. We were looking for, we were pretty rank. Uh, when you're fishing a tournament, we literally fished two days pre fishing, one day, two day tournament, and man, alive. Are they, really rate, nice are they rated for number two? They smell delicious. So these are, are for lemongrass, two? citronella. Yeah, I don't know. I need to keep one of these in my kayak at all times. So there's 12 yeah. of those individually nice. packed in there. And what else we got? What is this thing? Fuzzy? You guys know what a Fuzzy is? Sorry about all the glare in the background. The sun's going down here in Ohio. Protects against sun, snow, heat, and cold. Let's open this up. I don't know what Fuzzy is. Just a phone. Phone? It's a thermal, a thermal drop float protector for smartphones. Okay. So just drop it in like cold water. We're gonna find it open. Yeah. Got it. Okay. It's not waterproof, it's just Velcro. Okay. So I guess you fish in a literally hot places. Okay. Stick it in there, really cold places. Interesting. Huh. Very interesting. You know, here's the thing, I fish early in the season, right? It's freaking cold, sometimes snowing. And so, also really hot, if your phone turns down, I think once your phone hits a temperature of like, what, 90 yeah, degrees, down, 85 yeah. degrees, it shuts down. So if you're fishing, you need to upload it for tournaments. Uh -oh. Potentially? All right. The Fuzzy XP3 series. All right, what's we got? Ooh, juicy. Yeti Tumbler. I like this. A little Rambler 10 ounce low ball. It's perfect for your cup of coffee. So Heck always yeah. Always. All right. We have the next a travel measuring board. So you don't have to carry a giant one. Bank, first, bank fisherman, so you don't have to carry around a big old There you go. It goes 35 inches. The Phoenix. I wonder if it's sticker. I don't think it's sticker. You roll it up, put it in your bag. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. I mean, that's a that's a long board, so you fish long fish with this bad boy. Who wants to carry uh, around? If you're a bank fisherman, you've got a backpack or something, who wants to carry around a big old catch board just to measure you your fish? Like, my catch board goes up to 26 yeah. inches, I believe, so... Catching long fish, yeah. could be good like, like saltwater musky. fishing. Yeah, you're saltwater fishing on piers and stuff. So gotta bring it, all, lug it all the way from your car. The Cuda titanium bonded blades. So actually, I think I'm gonna start using these. Right now, I have actually a pair of scissors. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, those are nice. Yep. And a little lightweight. Oh, I should have opened this up, Jake. <laughs> the Boom Boom Frog. I know it's kind of hard to see. There you go. Get the glare off of it. But it's got a little fur right there. So oh, for those of you who bass that, fish, we were just talking, about, talking this. about that. Yeah. Let me open it up. That's the one who makes them, huh? Well, there's a bunch of people that make them so now. We, we, uh, we, cut, we buy little pieces of uh, Velcro and we super glue it on top of the frog. This one comes from the factory. There it is. And that looks like it'll, it'll walk pretty well. Look at that. Uh, it's good, nice soft body. Yeah, and the hooks look already bent out, which looks good. Too. Does this work? I don't know. It makes sense, edges. right? Those teeth got the. Yeah, uh, it's, like, it's like Velcro on the mouth. top of the mouth. Yeah. All right. Yeah, oh, this frog's got teeth. Watch out. He is. Oh, <laughs> he is upset. Boom frog. Ah, I just hooked myself. All right, the sharp. <laughs> All right. That's good. Three eighths ounce frog. Boom boom frog by Frog Factory. Yeah, I like it. Two more things. 
man, I'm sorry the lighting sucks on this video. Uh, sun, sun's going down. This is going to be a steelhead three quarter ounce Ooh, blade bait. Blade bait. The that's steel a, shad. It's a big old blade bait. It is. <laughs> oh my goodness. I like it. Yep. Um, is it weighted? I mean, you could go weighted. salt water with this. It is weighted. weighted. So deep pocket, especially coming up here, October, November. That, that's, I might even throw that that, that shine. Yep, that's about the same size as all the spawning shed for the bait fish. Oh yeah. Can you imagine that thing? Pop it off the bottom, let this thing flutter down. I'm gonna catch some fish on this bad boy. I got a I got a picture. Maybe you can edit that in later. Okay, right. I'm, I'm holding one of the bait fish that looks just like it. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. All right. Last but not least. I think it's one of the most expensive things in the box. It's a Kershaw knife. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> so, we got. so yeah, Jake and I are traveling back. We've been on the road for nine hours, coming back from Gunnersville. Gunnersville is a bit stingy this year. Oh man. Uh, it was good last year, but man, even picking up 18s, 19s was tough. Biggest fish out of how many anglers? Uh, around 80 anglers. 80 anglers. Biggest fish out of two days. 21.25. 21.25. Yeah. We're talking Guttersville. Guttersville, known for big slobber knockers. Yeah. All right. What's hey, happening? What do you guys think about that? Look at that design. I like it. Oh, look at that. Look at those curbs. I like it. It's got, I've never seen this before. It's got a place a for a carabiner, yeah. right? And then Wicked Sharp. It's also got, of course, a place to put it in your pocket. Lightweight, I can shave with that bad boy. So there it is. All right, guys, that's the box. Thanks you guys for watching. Peace. We'll see you next month for the next unboxing. You guys have a good one too.